My name is Julie McGee and I am the founder and executive director of the Liberian Youth Orchestra. In 2016, I came to Liberia on a missions trip and I brought my violin with me and I was able to play my violin at the Senate. I played the Liberian National Anthem and I realized at that point so many people said, wow, this is the first time we've heard our national anthem on the violin. Later that week, I traveled to four different schools all over Liberia in different counties, and I brought my violin with me, and I brought it out and played it for the children in the schoolyard, and the children just stopped what they were doing to listen and hear the violin. And at that point, I discovered that this was the first time that most of the students, as well as teachers, were hearing the violin. So I had the idea what if this could be brought to Liberia to be taught to the children? I returned to the United States and I wanted to share this idea of bringing string music to Liberia with others. As I began to share with others, I reached out to a few music stores and I was able to receive donations of 25 instruments from Char Music and 50 instruments from Glasser Bows. Um, I was able to load those then on a container that headed towards Liberia and that happened in, in May of 2018. The container left the United States. The container is here at Heart of Grace School. In God's timing, he had us arrive last night on Friday night. We will get to open it on Monday. We'll be moving everything into the classroom and just checking out the instruments to see if they're in working order. Here we go, here's the first violin, looks great. Hopefully, Lord willing, we will start uh, teaching later next week. <laughs> we launched the program with Vice President Jewel Howard Taylor in attendance. Care people, patriotic Liberians that would take their seat in governance. But this music school that is about to begin here today is another first. After the war. And that same day, the students got their instruments and began learning. I was on the ground teaching in Liberia for six weeks. The students learned how to hold the instruments. Okay, and then it comes up onto your shoulder. How to play the instruments, and they began learning how to read music. When I returned to the United States after the six weeks, the training did not stop. We continued training through distance learning. Fantastic. Can't believe this is happening, man. This is the first. This is learning ever. We set up a computer and a large screen TV in the classroom, and I had the same setup in my home. And I would get up every morning and go to work in Liberia from my home in the United States. So then we would go back to the beginning. Teaching the students new things via the internet. And the students picked up so well, they did wonderful. Uh, they learned so much in those next couple of months. I returned to Liberia in March and we continued for two more weeks teaching here and the students picked up even more skills. So here we are tonight, the students have been playing for eight months and they are fabulous and I hope you enjoy this evening's program.